Hello everyone and welcome back to a Paint by Numbers tips video. I hope you're all doing okay and you're staying safe. So today I want to talk about light because this is hanging on top of us now where I put my phone in it so I made some pictures and you also have seen um, this light pad a few months ago that I've tried out. So I have two different sources of light and in this video I want to talk about which one I prefer and what I would recommend to you as either a YouTuber or that makes art videos like me or just someone that loves doing paint by numbers. Okay so first I will show this light pad. I I already made a video about it when I first got it, um, so I won't go in too much detail and you can watch that video if you're interested. And also I have a link for Amazon for this product in the description below. Unfortunately I have to mention immediately that the light ring that is above us now, um, I got it as a present for Christmas. So I don't know exactly where it came from and I can't provide a link. I'm sorry, but we can discuss what is nice to um, have or look for in a light ring. So this light pad is great, um, but I'm not a big fan of how it shows the paint. Um, so it comes with this um, cord, which is like a mini USB that goes in the pad and the USB that goes in your laptop or um, charger or, or what's this name? What was the name? Ah, anyway, that goes into a, like an energy source thingy. Um, so you have three settings and it really gives a lot of light, especially when it's night. It's Sunday after afternoon now, so it's still uh, pretty light outside. Um, and I use this one for diamond painting mostly, because then you can see really nicely see the um, uh, numbers, and you can also see the ni numbers nicely with paint by numbers. But you also see how the paint is not even smooth, and I'm not. A big fan of that but that's of course just preference okay then now let's talk about the light ring I will insert a little clip of how my light ring looks like and all the components so as you can see it comes with a stand which you can then build onto the light ring which has like a um, 90 degree angle which stands on top of the light ring which has a 360 angle um, through this ball mechanism which I don't use I have it in the same position all over and then in the light ring I have this holder which came with multiple holders but this is the one I use which has is for phones obviously you can nicely put it in and you can um, move that in any position that you want which is what I actually use to um, make sure my phone is aligned with the painting I just use this mechanism and the whole stand um, it's not high enough for my table how high I would like it so I have it standing slightly on my table, as you can see <laughs> in the corner here. Um, and the cord has a USB plug, so I just plug it into my laptop. And there we are. We have three different settings um, and then different light intensities. So you have either a white light or a yellow light or combined. So there's a wide range for everyone and depending on preferences and the other light sources in your home. 
um, which I think is really nice. I will try out the intensities of this light ring. So I am going down in intensity now and not sure how well you can see it. And now I'm going up in the intensity. Yeah, that's more clear. So you really can yeah, play around with that as you want. Um, which, if you're an art YouTuber like me, I think it's really great to have so many varieties. That's something you should look out for. And secondly, the stand. It's really, really nice or critical to have a stand that can be quite high because you want it to be laying um, over you kind of thing and not just looking at it like many youtubers they just um, have it shining on their face which is of course not the purpose that for most of us we want it on our painting so it needs to be able to move 360 degrees as well um, then for us that like doing paint by numbers I love it you can see the number so much clearer and you don't get this weird effect of the paint being um, like uneven looking because there's light coming from underneath that you get with the light pad so on the downside though this light ring does take up more space and um, is less easeable, not as easy to move from different locations. Like if you like painting on the sofa and then on the table, or um, yeah, no, that's definitely I wouldn't recommend it. And then a light pad is easier to work with. Um, but definitely, I want to reiterate: it's important to have good lighting, and it makes it way easier to see all those small details. So definitely invest in some good light source that you prefer and yeah it will make it it will make it more fun because you you have less trouble. Um, and I know all those paintings or uh, numbers are so tiny. If you have any remaining questions about uh, lighting for your paint by numbers, please leave them down in the comments. Thank you very very much for watching this video until the end and I hope to see you again uh, next Thursday. Bye!